Come here. Come have a seat, my guy. What? That's your sheet. That's my scrimmy guy. But what about the eggs? We'll get them. And I will hold it. Um, you're gonna have to. You might have to get up on your knees so you can, because you have to reach in and grab the snake out. So you, you might have to be up on your knees like that. Okay. okay. Can you do that? Yep. You be up your knees, and then you can be able to reach in and grab the snake. Yep. Okay. Pretend there's a snake here. So here's what I'm gonna want you to do. Okay. We're gonna put the snake in here, and then you're gonna reach in and you're gonna move her head aside, and take her off the eggs, and then take her tail too, and take the whole snake off the eggs. Can you do that? Can you do that? What is it called, though? Can you do it? What I just told you to do, can you do that? Is it a fake thing? No, it's a real thing. It's a snake. It's a real snake. Can you do that? Can you come in here and take the eggs off and, and do that? You mean go in there? Yeah, bud. Can you, do you think you can do it? You mean grab in there? Yeah, when we get the snake. I'm going to get the snake and bring it over here. Can you, can you do that? Can you... Reach in and pull her off nicely. One hand on the head and her neck, and the other hand on the tail, and unwrap the eggs and take them out. Take the snake out. Can you do that for us? And there. I'm gonna bring her over here. I'm just asking you. Can you do it? When do we do it? Can you make it happen? Okay. Grab yeah. Tail and grab her head. Yep. And pull her off. Yep. Unwrap her. You have to unwrap the eggs like you're unwrapping a hose. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go get her. I'm gonna okay. pour some ambient and put it in this crack. <laughs> To top of the morning, friends and family. How are you guys doing? Welcome to, well, it could potentially be snakes striking cinematically in slow motion Saturday if you want it to be. If you guys really want to see some cinematic slow motion striking from snakes on this fine Saturday, well, I'd like you to leave a comment down below. And I'd like you to leave a comment that says, Brian is a turd nugget. <laughs> If you don't want to see it, then I need you to go in the comments down below. These kids love to call me turd nuggets, so I'll, I made the mistake of one time telling them that they were turd nuggets. Maybe several occasions. So now I'm a turd nugget. So if you put Brian as a turd nugget down in the comments, then we'll show you some slow motion cinematic snake striking Saturday action. If you don't want to see it, then I'd like you to go down in the comments and uh, do what I've made Hillary do in the past, which is say, Brian is the master and commander. So if you don't want to see snakes striking at the end of this video, in slow motion, Brian is the master and commander, down in the comments. We can wait. You guys leave the comment yet or what? Should we wait a little longer? No? Okay, hopefully you got your comment down there. We're going to go down and read them right now, and if you left that comment, we're going to show you the slow motion. I've got a feeling I know who's going to win already, but... <laughs> so we, what we've got going on today is uh, our final clutch of the season is being laid by the second female, well, the first female ball python we ever actually got. The first ball... the second ball python, but the first female. Smart! A slug! Yep. It's a cool slug. Is it a cool slug? Yeah. I won't pick it up. Wow. I wonder what is it. I wonder what's in it. Uh, probably a bunch of goo. Oh! A slime stick. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Slime. Yeah. Yeah. Should I grab that part? Yeah, well, you, you get her off the eggs and I'll go put her away in the cage. Gonna have to use two hands, gently too, and unwrap her like a hose. So unwrap. Where's Take her off. tail? Don't worry about the tail right now. Just get her head off. Here. Go ahead, lift her up just gently. Unwrap her. I'll hold the tub. I'll hold you too, so you don't fall off your spinny chair. Good, good. Just keep unwrapping her. Good, doing good, doing good, doing great job. Careful, careful. Easy, easy. Let the eggs, let the eggs um, go down easy. Take another hand and oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, mm. Take your other hand and grab her tail. Okay. Where's the tail? Right there. Whoa! <laughs> Good job, my guy. Well done. 
Ooh, man, she's still nice and healthy looking. That's fantastic. Not too much weight. Let's, uh, I'm gonna double check her real quick. I mean, she was clearly tightly wrapped and done laying eggs, but let's just give her a quick palpation just to make sure. There's, um, one, two, three, four, five. I think you counted one twice. Count them again. One, two, three, four. Four. Good job. Four eggs, one slug. That makes three slugs for the entire season. And all the rest for the legs. Except for the two in the last video that you watched. Maybe, uh... Wow, this don't... slug is goopy in there. Yeah, it's, it's goopy in there for sure. And, I, and you go way back far outside when I drop it. Okay, what, so it doesn't splat my shoe? You got it on my shoe! Sorry. Yeah. No splat shoes Saturday? Nope. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get this girl cleaned up. I'm gonna candle these eggs real quick. If you wanna see the process of what I do that, there's previous videos. I don't wanna make everybody who watches the channel all the time go through that whole process again. Um, but you can watch the previous videos we put up this year that shows how we candle the eggs and how we clean the snake up and put her in a new tub so that she goes back on food right away and all that stuff. You be gentle with those eggs, please. I feel, I heard a snake, whoa. Ah, the eggs keep rolling. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we're gonna have to make sure they're all right side up. Eli. What? I am your father. <laughs> I can't believe this tiny egg has a little embryo in there. This is really cool. It'll be interesting to see. Hold on, we need our uh, toothpicks. This is a slug, so it's not gonna have anything in it. Why is that dark spot? Uh, dark spot is just a uh, coloration on the egg. Nice big egg. Yeah, that's a big Nice healthy embryo on top. Lots of veins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there water in there? Yep. Why? to keep it uh, humid. Now it's super yummy. There you have it folks, the last clutch of our season. And uh, got a lot to hatch big, still. Big, Small. Big, Take a guess down in the comments, small, which one of these big, do you think is gonna hatch first? Small. The big one on this end or the small one on this end? I'm guessing it's gonna be one of these two that hatch first. So either the small one or this one over here. I say small. Eli says a small one. What do you guys say? We'll check back in 55 days or so whenever they start to pip and we'll see which one pips first and we'll we'll take a poll and hey, if uh, wh whoever has the most right votes, I don't know what we'll do. We'll do something um, special. I can't see the weight in there, the egg white part. Yeah, me too. Is this still the white part inside? Uh, the skin is the outside of the egg. It's the egg shell, if you will. Oh, this is the thin right here. You can call it the shell. Hey, where are you going? So, uh, update on Junior. Oh, before we get to that, I forgot to bring up my t-shirt thing. You guys know how my t-shirts work. They're just, my t-shirts choose me, I don't choose them. So this t-shirt was made by a guy that uh, has a website that does stuff and, you know, things. And, and what I'm trying to say is you can't trust the person that runs Triple B. I, do, I am wearing a t-shirt because it was at the top of my pile, but um, I just want to put a disclaimer to watch out for this guy. Um, they, all the, his information down in the comments, so you can go down and check out all the stuff he's trying to pull off of people. So uh, yeah, don't just be warned. Don't trust that guy. Uh, Screaming. What? I see in the comments now that uh, Brian is a turd nugget seems to be more popular than Brian is the master and commander. So, well, it looks like I'm gonna be doing some slow-mo striking. But before we do that, I want to do an update on Junior, our reticulated python. For those of you guys that have watched the channel for a while or have been following recently even, um, he did have his CT scan at, up at UC Davis. Uh, that went, that's completed. He had his operation. The people at UC Davis were kind enough to provide us with video can and, we, and pictures. Can we, can we feed corn snakes? There will be corn snakes fed, absolutely. It was basically an infected salivary gland is what it looked Puppy like. Dog. <laughs> and uh, 
And so that's that's what that's what was going on. And they, they removed all that, you know, the CT scan. They identified what what they needed to remove because it's very you know close to the eye in there. They want to be very careful. Um, very fortunate that my buddy Riley is up there to take him to and from his appointments. Uh, I couldn't be more lucky to have a buddy that is a reptile zookeeper that lives close to UC Davis, so that we can have all that happen. So thank you, Riley. His channel will be in the link in the description. He does a weekly carpets with coffee thing he talks about carpet pythons goes live you guys should really check out his channel if you haven't already great reptile keeper great dude yeah that's uh that's that's basically what's going on with junior that's the update there i can't remember if there's something else i want to tell you guys about right now no no that was it you guys uh enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you back here for music monday see you guys,